changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to a brand new series here on Black Wolf Gaming. I'm sure you guessed by now, seeing as the title splashed up on screen not too long ago, uh, what we're playing. Uh, today we're gonna be playing um, Fallout 4. For those who aren't sure, uh, Fallout 4 is a free roam survival game um, set uh, in this in this one. Uh, it starts in the year 2077. For those who aren't familiar with um, the history of the Fallout universe, sometime in the 1950s, uh, there was a um, uh, best way to describe it would be um, a divergence of universes between ours and the one in F and Fallout and um, in the Fallout universe um, the microchip was never never invented and uh, we ended up they ended up using a lot more um atomic energy and and such that our universe never did but hmm, this new haircut's really working for me all right hey my turn so the guy. idea behind this though is uh you can pick either one of these characters and i just i customize him real quick i usually end up playing um playing female characters myself. I actually kind of like that face. That's face three. Um, but the idea is, uh, well, I mean, to, to survive. And we'll get, it, we'll get into the actual basis of the game as we play into it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip just beyond um, character creation once we're, once we're done with this. Uh, we'll get into the actual game and all that kind of fun stuff in just a few minutes.
Such pretty eyes. I think Sean has my eyes. New hairstyle? I love this. Let me just slide in here. Bad. Not bad. Okay, come on. Such a great smile. Sweetie, you like my nose, right? Such a cute nose. Not bad. Not bad at all. My beautiful wife. The best hairdresser, I swear. Hello, everybody. 
Welcome back to Black Wolf Gaming. This is, as usual, Sir Wolf. Um, today we're going to be starting a brand new game, uh, Fallout 4, as I'm sure many of you guessed if you watched the opening of the video. Um, <coughs> introduced my last, my last video, the first episode of Horizon Zero Dawn, that every day uh, is going to be dedicated to a new game. Um, kind of a keep keep a schedule, try to keep a, a, a wider variety of games going up on the channel. Um, and if there's one in particular, um, you guys really, really want to see, Friday is kind of a, kind of a random, a random game. You know, whatever you guys, if you guys are like, oh, we really want to see more Fallout 4, well, Fridays I could play a little more Fallout 4 or something like that. But, um, for today, we're going to go ahead and get into Fallout 4. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with the Fallout series or you don't, maybe don't follow it too well, um... The, uh, the the basic lore behind the game is uh, sometime around the 1950s there was a diversion divergence between our our reality and the fallout reality if you will um, and that divergence is the uh, invention as I've heard of the microchip now if memory serves that actually happened somewhere in the 60s or 70s but um Anyway, in, in the Fallout universe, uh, things became much more atomic, if you will. You know, every, everything basically had a radioactive power source. Uh, it was much more prolific than, than in our universe. And the game starts in the year 2077. And this is significant in that uh, October 31st, I believe of 2077 um a uh during what it is in some of the games called a a re the resource wars oil and stuff like that were starting to really you really couldn't find them and countries were starting to go to war with each other to get said resources um well in 2077 the war went atomic and those lucky few that were able to retreated into um, underground living structures known as vaults. And we'll get into that as the game progresses. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and I, I like the way I'm, I'm going to play the f a female character this time around. Um, I like I like the way she's come out. I've already done the character creation and all that. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're gonna actually start the game. So, oh, I have played. Um, I have played quite a bit of. Another foreign product <laughs> of General Atomics International. I've played quite a bit of Fallout. Let Codsworth take care of it. Ooh, excuse me. So, I'm I'm very familiar with the game. Um, I have a feeling if, the, if especially if the. Um, Especially if the series is popular, it's probably going to be a pretty, pretty good, good size series. You know, pretty, pretty long. Um, so we'll go ahead and, like I said, we'll get through. This is the, this is still the tutorial and all that. So we'll get, uh, we'll get through this. Um, I am an avid Fallout player. I've played every Fallout. Uh, that has existed. Um, in fact, I actually own. Where's today's newspaper? Grognak the Barbarian and the <laughs> Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> See, where's today's newspaper? It's outside. Is it? Mm, nope. It has been a while since I played the tutorial, I will say that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hmm. More of the same. Apparently, we get two newspapers, by the way. Hun? Can't believe it's almost Halloween. I need to finish making Sean's oh, costume. Sounds like someone made a sticky. I should attend to young Sean. I like Codsworth. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Um, for those who aren't sure, Mr. Uh, Codsworth here uh, is what's known as a Mr. Handy, and you'll find that it's a it's a pretty common robot to to see in the Fallout universe. Asia, but 
Screaming communities. Uh, that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering me. Alright. Good morning. Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech? Remind me again. Why we're about you, ma'am. And helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is the big kaboom. It's inevitable, I like that. I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning, the tutorial can run a little now, long. I know you're um, a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. But time we'll get through it pretty quickly. A, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country. You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Registration form. Name. Let me make sure I have that spelled right. I think I do. Nah, we're not going to go with that. I know what we're going to go with. Go with my old standby. Alright, let's see. Um, again, for those who aren't familiar with the Fallout... Um, the Fallout games, uh, each thing, each attribute is... Uh, it's what's known as your <clears throat> your special attributes. Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. And uh, it's a uh, it's a point by where in um, three points left. Uh, a point by in that you you put when you put points where you where you so so want them. There we go. Fairly well rounded. Not too strong, but mm. I do actually do want a higher agility. There. There we go. That's everything. Uh, just um, but each each attribute goes for, for the uh, go goes to again. Hey, modify a something. Um, That's worth a little paperwork, right? Your strength you is obviously John? your no price is too high. <laughs> how much you can carry your I have my moments. Perception is you know how well you perceive things. Endurance is your health and so on, so on, so forth. Be there in a second to help, okay? Ooh. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? Hmm. I do like for people who've played um, 
Fallout, you'll notice that those rockets uh, actually appear in That's Fallout New Vegas. Um, Oh, I'm trying to remember the name of the mission. You have to help uh, ghouls escape. Um, they take off in rockets. And do what? And it's that. It's those same. It's those same rockets you saw on the mobile. Codsworth, what's wrong? Go ahead and uh, tutorial should be over here in a few minutes. We'll get this. Like I said, we'll get this done. We'll actually get into the game. Followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our affiliate stations. We do. We do have. We do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and. Pennsylvania. My God. <laughs> I do like the way they they opened up this game though, to to where now. ordinarily you start and it's it's everything's already happened in this one. You actually begin the day it happens. So, um, I will actually. Uh, Trying to decide. There's a secret, sort of a secret ending to the game. I'm trying to decide if I should. You know what? I will. Um. <laughs> Just for those who are curious to see what happens. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male. Adult female. Okay, okay, okay right go ahead. ahead. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, save. And I'll show you what happens ordinarily. You, uh. No, I want to save. Come on. Ordinarily, um. You run Thank up. You. Good luck, sir. You run up to the vault. Come on! What's gonna happen to and a uh, little bit of a spoiler alert, you'll see now keep moving. the explosion happens just like as you're getting up to the vault. And, uh, I'll show you what actually happens. It's uh, I like the way they did it. There's actually there's actually a time limit. I tested it one time playing, and there's a time limit. There really is. Now I may or oh there we go. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> hmm. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. You too. Follow me. Go all right. Um, What's going to happen to all those people? I may or may not include it. Um, I may actually moving. throw it in th at the very end, but there's a little bit of a. Step on the platform in the center. I like this part. A little bit of something I may include at the very end. Keep watching. Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're going to be okay. I love you. Oh my God. I like that part. I really do like the way they did this part of the game. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better a future, future underground. underground. Better future underground. So we just... yes, we'll, we'll be covering um We'll be covering more more into the history of Vault Tech as as we uh, as we proceed. 
You'll need your suits Welcome. before we can take you further. Pick up a Thanks. Suit right over there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Let's go, Doc. See? Left, right, left, right, left, right. Lift those knees. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How long do you think we'll be down here? <laughs> oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you Just think? checking the everyone off the list. The to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Hmm. Decontamination pod. Right. We'll go with that. I'm sure many of you watching this probably already know. For those who aren't sure, though, I'm not going to... I'm going to try to keep spoilers to a minimum. Um, so... But there's, there's very few... The game's been out for a while now, so there's very few... Very few spoilers, I think, you know, I think left, but... I have never realized how long it takes the tutorial before today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do appreciate all of you though sticking around for those who 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 uh, for those who've actually stuck around and watched the entire tutorial. I do appreciate it. This is the one here. Open it. Dude is ugly. is the point in any good uh, any good action movie where the uh, where the hero or heroine says now I know what a freezer pop feels like <laughs> come on there has, has to, to be, be a release a release come on come on come on oh god I'll find who did this and I'll get Sean back all right. I promise. Nice. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and get uh, get through this. Oh, successful. We'll get through this. We'll get to the actual game here probably in just a few minutes. Giant cockroaches. I I hate rad roaches. They're so easy, but they're giant cockroaches. I hate cockroaches. I hate bugs. In fact, I was telling a friend of mine about playing um, uh, Skyrim, the tutorial in Skyrim. And for anybody who's played it, I'm sure you, uh, what the hell? I'm sure you know what I'm what I'm talking about when I say I'm running into the frost spider or frostbite spider. <laughs> I very nearly quit playing the game at that point, but it is what it is. Bam. 
Where's the giant cannon raid when you need one? Alright. Does it do anything? Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Let's see. Voltec designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation to unaware human subjects. Um, <laughs> under no circumstances is suspension to be interrupted. Right. There's not. Other than opening the evacuation tunnel, there's not much. I don't think in this. The cry later. We're actually gonna see that, and I've never, I've never actually used it, but I'm looking forward to it. New system is a Voltec residence. I'm not gonna worry about all that. It doesn't. Basically, a lot of that just says, you know, anybody's not on the list, don't let him in. There's the cry later. Nice. Coming back later for you. I said, I've never actually used it. I keep meaning to, but... I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... There we go. All right. What happened here? Where is everyone? Uh, I think he glitched a little bit there. Take Pip Boy. Again, for those who aren't sure, instead of having in the in the Fallout universe, instead of having, uh, say, a cell phone or something along those lines, because oh, excuse me again, I don't know why. I have no idea why I yawn so much when I record. I don't know if sleep last night. Um. Instead of having cell phones and the like, um, the um, the Pip Boy was invented, and it's a wrist-mounted wrist-mounted computer, um, and it becomes. Hurry up. It becomes our best friend, basically. Like always, I always like watching the doors open. All right. are finished. Enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. All right, we have officially ended the tutorial. For those who stuck around for the tutorial, thank you very much for for doing so. For those who didn't, welcome back.
Looks like an atomic bomb went off. I know, wasn't funny. Too soon. Press L3 to sprint. No kid. I'm not going to worry too much about um, building for now. Because um, I'm sure many many of you know that uh, there is a sediment building option. I'm just going to worry about getting through missions for now. Codsworth, you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little hmm. radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you seem the worse for wear. Ooh, ah. not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is sir, by the way? <laughs> Where is the sir? They, he did. They killed him. Oh, mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. mood. I always like Codsworth. Ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps Shiraz. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. They stole my baby. It's they gone and I took thought. my baby. Mm. You're suffering 200 from years. paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. A bit over 210, actually, Mum. People take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. Don't you wish you, you had this kind of... Uh... Codsworth, you're acting... I wonder acting if I've got enough. I wonder if I can do it. A little weird. What's wrong? I... 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 Uh, Mom, <laughs> it's been just... Horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years <laughs> trying to keep the fallout. Nothing gets nuclear fallout from Nothing vital wood. <laughs> Nothing. <from> vital wood. <laughs> I love Nothing. Codsworth. And don't get me started about <sighs> the utility of dusting a collapsed house. Perfect How do you polish rust? <laughs> uh. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were were dead. I I did find this hollow tape. I believe so was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're All welcome. right. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. <laughs> Things are looking a bit run down. A bit ramshackle. What's all this? And there are some people who, um... Yeah, blow flies. <laughs> nothing, nothing says good babysitter like a, uh, a robot equipped with a flamethrower. But some people have kind of criticized the sediment building, and, um... Like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about it for now. I want to actually get into the game and get some... Get some stuff done. Follow me! But we'll get uh, we'll get we'll get we'll get into it. Um, like I said, it's gonna be for a future episode. I mean, I can't even do it right now. But where are we gonna get more? Ow! Something hit me. Take that! Oop, wrong button. T 
teabag him. <laughs> yes, yes, Codsworth, they're really gone. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, Mum. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here. Okay. I'm actually starting to get into the game. Like I said, it does, uh, like a lot of Fallout games, it starts off a little on the slower side, but once, once, once you get into it, it's, it is a lot of fun. Like I said, I mean, I've put, God, I don't know, probably 200, 150, 200 hours into the game on, uh, on the PC. So. Take the tire iron. Oh, I was telling you before about the uh, special attributes. I don't think I actually finished. Um, like I said, each like I said before, each one. Dougie. Doug meat. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, <laughs> Okay then, let's stick together. Dog. Dog found something. Is that a, it is a stimpatic. Cool. Alright. We'll keep on rolling. Um, but yeah, these special attributes, like I said, strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Um, some of them are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, strength, obviously, is how strong you are. Endurance is how much you can take, uh, health regen, and any bonuses to, to, to health or radiation resistance. Um, perception is how well how well you pick up on things, like uh, most notably enemy ticks on your radar. Uh, charisma, again, you know, pretty pretty self-explanatory. It's how how much people learn, learn to like you, know, how much people like you. Intelligence, how smart you are. Agility is for things like um, uh, you'll notice. I have a tendency to do a lot of a lot of sneaking. Uh, bam! Kick your ass. Um, and it's how well you you sneak or you get basically how well you you get around how how agile you are. I mean. Difficulty set on. Oh, yeah. I wonder it's so easy. Switch that to. I'll do it on very hard. You know I me. Mean? I like to play mine on the on a, on a heavy difficulty. I have played Please. on survival. Oh. I mean, I like survival and Fallout. Like Fallout New Vegas and stuff, but on here, I played probably my first 15 hours, and I don't think I made it. <laughs> I don't really think I actually made it any further than Sanctuary. <laughs> I basically got into the first fight with those blood bugs, those uh, giant mosquito-looking things, and that was it. It's like I died right there every time. I do wish you could take, um, as you come through and you find, like, this kind of stuff. Die! Yes, I know I'm not low on health. Alright. So we'll just pack it up. Ooh, I can level up too. 
Let's see. This is... That's a good one to have. <laughs> Fortune Finder. I like both of those. Right. Now... We'll equip ourselves. We can, um... Switching over. Oh, there we go. I had the wrong button. <clears throat> we'll switch over and uh this even better. There we go. Well, a pretty shabby amount of amount of armor. I got a lot of weapons now. get lost. I mean, it, it was a lot easier, I think, in the old Fallouts to not get lost. In, these, in the new one, Fallout 4, these buildings are much, much less linear. And I'm not complaining. I do. I like that. Hi, Scrub. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Love to I heard somebody hurt my dog. Quit hurting my dog, damn it. That's a full auto pipe pistol, isn't it? I'll take that. Hell yeah. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Press What's the up? Garbage. What's up? How you doing? Minute, How you doing? Glad to help. Uh, that ain't <laughs> if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Nope. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, no, and Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds rough. Sounds really rough. God damn it. Thanks. It's good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those hey. raiders proved us wrong. But... Well, we do have one idea. Tell me all well, about it. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell her. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like, I like it. it. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? It's a good idea. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? 
Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. Well, we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'll see what I can do. Free power armor and a minigun? <laughs> now luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. All right. Now. Like that. War of Independence. Got World War II. Is that more World War II? And then apparently, according to these, there was a fight on, there was warring on the moon. So if you look closely, you can see. <laughs> yeah, they cut. The right tapestry apparently is cut. Like, right there. So you can see just the very end of the minigun. And then there's the lander in both. And. But overlap there, I guess. Did I loot this already? I did. Where my dog is. I hurt Arius. As I heard, if anything happens to him, he will respawn. You just gotta wait a little while. But I don't know. I've never actually lost him. All right, now, show you a little trick about hacking these things for people who, who aren't sure how this works. Um, you'll see attempts remaining. There's four little pips at the top, and there are random words. Like, this one happens to be five-letter words. Some are six, and the longer the word, the harder it is. Well, there are little... I actually learned this. I didn't realize this. I was playing uh, New Vegas one day when I found this out. There are areas like this you'll see excuse me my cursor is right next to demon uh, it's highlighting both the open and the close parentheses and there's here's here's another case and it has to be an open and close parentheses or bracket greater than less than less than sign but it has to be on the same line like here's a good example on the same line and it open and closes but this is a a, a little hacking trick uh, here great entry denied likeness zero there's there's no match there the the word I'm looking for does not have the G the R the E the A the the, the G the R the E the A or the T in the location great has it so I can try a couple of times and exit and come back and keep trying each time it'll have a whole new randomized set of words or I can use a trick like this, dud removed. A lot of these little things, I'll say like dud removed, dud removed. It's actually, it actually removes wrong, wrong words. Um, and ends up leaving you in some cases there's a uh, dud removal, um, tries reset, <laughs> tries reset and dud removal and essentially what it does is if you can find them in this these little bits of code um, it, it helps you out it makes hacking easier and I was telling you about though that it has to be an open and closed bracket greater than less than sign of parentheses it has to the section of code that you're looking at has to have like we've got a bracket here and a parenthesis here down at the bottom of the of the, the hacking computer screen. 
it has to whatever it opens with it has to be the close of that like if it opens with a bracket it has to close with a bracket if it opens with a parentheses it has to close with the parentheses so that's very important to remember when you're doing this but it makes and I speak from long experience on this it makes hacking so much easier We'll go ahead and we'll hit, all right, timer, access denied, demon, man, what is this one? Tried great. Now the nice thing is, each, each try tells us something. I know, looking at this, um, even though it has an E, a, 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 uh, an A and a T, demon had an E, timer has a um an e and a t it's not oh it great doesn't work there's zero matches therefore it has no g r e a or t the way this works is if it says like in the case of timer likeness zero that means the word i'm looking for does not have a t in the first slot an i in the second slot an m in the third slot an e in the fourth slot or an r in the fifth slot but it might contain T I M E or R somewhere in it, just not in the slots timer is or the slots demon is or in the slots greater uh, great is. So path, okay, paths tells me one of it says likeness one. One of the letters in paths is in its is the correct letter in the correct spot. So we can look at this and go actor. Now obviously we're running out of running out of. Um, running out of words to try, but um, actor, since timer has no likenesses, but does have a T, actor is probably the one, but that's why I didn't try something like thief, whose T, it has T in the first letter, timer doesn't work, thief's not going to work, because T, there's no letters in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and guess, based on everything I've learned so far, based on this particular hacking attempt, I know T has to be the middle letter. Has to be in the middle of the word. I look around, actor's got a T in the middle of the word. When I hit it, entry denied. Okay. So I messed up on that one. <laughs> It'll reset after 10 seconds. Well. Come on. There we go. All right. Now, as you can see, we've got a whole new set of words. The password's reset. We've also got a whole new set of, of hacking brackets. Hit this. Tries reset. Okay. Dud removed. And I usually go through and I'll find all of these prior to attempting a hack. And as you can see, sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. It seems to be kind of random. But I like to go through and find them all first, even though it will some. Uh, there's usually a tries reset in there. Um, if you remove enough duds. <laughs> you don't have to worry about having the tries. It makes, like I said, it just makes hacking these computers so much easier. So, we'll go ahead now, and I think I've got them. Ooh, one more. All right, I think I got them all. Okay, so I'm going to try means likeness one. So, based on what I know before, that's not going to likely be it. That might be it. It might also be beset. I'm going to try hopes. Got to be B-set. Oh, no. Huh. Is it spent? Oh, yeah. I didn't even see the end. I'm there in. we go. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I can usually do it. I'm a lot... I'm a lot... I'm, I'm more... I'm more used to doing it without having to explain as I go along, but you'll see. Um, you know, we'll get we'll, we'll get there. So now we've got all that done. Now we go upstairs to find that nice power armor. And I'm not going to worry too much about looting right now. I wish you could take these guns. It'd be so cool to shoot at people with a flintlock. 
Just because I, I just think that would be really cool. That'd be a lot of fun, but I was really hoping as as Fallout progressed that they were gonna they would introduce that. But they never did. They never introduced at least not that I've found, never introduced a flintlock pistol rifle anything. I was kinda disappointed. I'm like, man You know fun. Alright. something coming and it's angry all right here's our power armor enter here we go we put the uh, fusion core in we actually enter the uh, power armor a little bit of a graphical glitch there <laughs> Now this is a part I know. We got somebody up here. There are plenty of people I know who, for lack of a better word, have a little bit of trouble with this. You'll see there's a bunch of raiders down there, but when I get down here, there's something, something even bigger. What I do when you get in closer. Or it'll pop up again. Where is it? That's right, bitch. There it is. Any any veteran of Fallout knows exactly why I'm running. <laughs> that thing is eight feet of rage. Now this is something, like I said, a lot of people seem to. Had, at least when back when it first came out, had trouble with. What I do, I let the raiders and the death claw go at it, and then my minigun. Oops, not what I meant to do. Let's see, fave. And then once, once there's only the death claw left, this is when I step in. Back here, you little punk. There you are. One or two raiders isn't really going to do much against the raging death claw. Run away! Run away! Death claws hurt. I'm not the biggest fan of death claws. I'm sure you can guess why. I'm gonna die. Aren't you dead yet? If you'll notice, there's a little skull. I'm sure some of you have noticed by now. At the top of the screen, right next to his name. Uh, skulls indicate something that is well outside of... Essentially well outside of my current level. Um, if you're wondering, by the way, how they got the name death claws, that's how. All right, now. Matter now, just finishing everybody off. <laughs> Let's see, bottle cat. Ooh, I'll take that. That, that. That, that. All right. Then we'll go ahead and we'll report back to Preston. Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. With us in. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You better be glad. The feeling's mutual, Preston. 
You can never have too many friends, not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did, and we owe you our lives. So here. Yeah. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can take it. I don't know why it. sometimes it glitches out like that and it doesn't show. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Please Help me. tell me. I need to know. You are a woman out of time. Out of hope. But all is not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Thank goodness. Please, tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can imagine just how short the game... That's what the game would be if she looked at you and went, but He's here! Go get him! He's out there. Even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. But Diamond City. Then we wouldn't get to run into the many, many wonderful things of Fallout. <laughs> Diamond City? That's vague. I need more. You're useless. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Go with <laughs> Go with, I need Look, more. Kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That <sighs> right. It's gonna kill you. Well, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, well, she's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. I only had a poppy pen. She knows about it? Damn. You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another But I can't get to those. Based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold on. Hold on. Right. Everybody just Come on, people. Make up your mind. Let's go. this together, right? So, Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Marcy Long. Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope bullet you. She, I, name. she's so damn annoying. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and um, Preston and his friends are, are are gone. They're on their way to sanctuary. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna leave it here. Um. I appreciate you joining me. I, I do apologize if the uh, video, if this particular uh, this particular video is a little drier than usual, a little slower than usual. Uh, we all know the beginnings of video games are a little more, you know, a little, a little slower than the actual game is going to be. Um, but now that we've done that, um, we're going to go ahead and probably set out and start exploring. We're going to meet uh, Preston and everybody back at the at back at Sanctuary. Um, in the next video, uh, but I appreciate all of you coming in, uh, and joining me for this. Uh, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Uh, let me double check my schedule. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you all again, um, very soon. I'll be releasing, uh, like I said in the first episode of Horizon Zero Dawn, I'll be, and I think at the beginning of this one. Um, I'll be releasing a new video I'm going to try to do every day, and it's going to try to be a new game, you know, every, every day of the week is going to have a game dedicated to it, um, and if there's, like I said, if there's a video you guys are not liking, let me know, if there's one you guys really like, let me know, you know, I mean, this, this channel's, this channel is for you guys. So, like I said, let me know if there's anything you really want to see. Um, but, like I said, we're going to end it here today. Uh, I will see all of you again 
in the next episode. So thank you for very much for joining me on this first episode of Fallout 4. I've been Sir Wolf, and this is Black Wolf Gaming. I'll see you guys next time.